And now let's talk about the next component of setting the apnea settings. So we talked about initial ventilator settings. We talked about alarms, but another key uh, part is the apnea settings. So to access the apnea settings, I'm going to go under the vent setup button on the lower left hand side again. And right here is my apnea settings. So I'm going to touch my apnea settings. And then you will decide what approach you want to use for apnea if it should occur. So right now I've got vent type in blue, the mode is in blue, and I'm using volume control which means that's the active uh, approach to ventilation. And then in terms of delay time, how much delay time do you want? So I can adjust that down to 10 seconds. What kind of rate do I want as a backup apnea? What kind of total volume? So maybe I'll set that to 500. What kind of flow do I want to set? Do I want any kind of a plateau? As well as do I want to use a certain type of flow pattern? Now one thing I want to mention is that as you set your apnea settings, whenever you use the manual inspiration, that same pressure or volume will be delivered to your patient when the spontaneous mode selection is picked and you press manual inspiration. Now that volume and pressure is always displayed for you on the vent setup button on the lower left hand side. So right down here it says 510 and I've adjusted it so it hasn't uh, switched yet. Now the last step once again once I have my apnea setting set is to always push the accept key. And so now I've set my apnea settings.